friends, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to yet another TBR video for June. You're probably like, Andy, what the heck at this point? Um, but as I mentioned before, there are multiple month-long reading challenges that I wanted to participate in. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the TBR video for Camp Seasonathon. This is hosted by Mel from Completely Melanie and her co-hosts, uh, Clint and Kaylani. Uh, each of the hosts, or camp counselors, uh, each have their own TBR game that they play on their channels. Um, so I would recommend uh, watching all three announcement videos to determine which of the TBR games that you want to play. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with counselor Melanie, doing her wheel of TBR, and she has 10 prompts. I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus my arc that's nine, and my Patreon group read that's 10. I already have 10 books on my TBR for June. Hoping I can use some of those books for Wish me luck. All right. So I'm going to leave a link to Melanie's announcement video, which has all of the links that you need um, for uh, all of the announcement videos. So I'll leave a link to her announcement video in the description box. Wow, that, that made a lot. Um, but yeah, this is a month long readathon. And they do have a group book that we read and the author um chat live show for that book will be on saturday june 18th on melanie's channel um and then they also have an after hours live show um on friday july 1st on melanie so it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy the readathons for the uh, um, seasons, seasonathons, or she does. They do one every season. I really enjoyed them, so um, I I knew I definitely wanted to do this one. So let's jump into the prompts for Counselor Melanie. The first prompt is to read a contemporary. Um, which a contemporary is just a, a book set in a realistic world. Um, so for that, I'm going to pick The Paris Apartment by Lisa, Lucy Foley. It is a thriller, I believe, set in Paris that falls under contemporary. The second prompt is to read an anthology, so a collection of short stories or um, have one of these. I'm going to have to take a look and see if I can find one um, on Scribd. So give me just one moment. Okay, that took a little longer than planned, uh, but I'll put a picture of the book up here. It's called Robots vs. Fairies by Simon and Schuster is the publisher. Um, and it says it's a unique anthology of all new stories that challenges authors to throw down the gauntlet in an epic genre battle and demands an answer to the age old question who is more awesome? Robots or fairies? We'll see how this goes. I'll be honest, I don't really do very well with anthologies. Um, they're very hard for me to rate because I'm not going to love every story in the book. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this one goes. And uh, again, I'm borrowing that via script. Um, let's see here. Where were we? 
Uh, number three is to read a book with a number in the title. Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne. I love it when I can double up. <laughs> Makes life easier. Okay, so prompt number four. A book that involves a game. Um, Endgame, The Colleen by James Frey. Prompt number four. Five, a graphic novel or manga. Um, well, I don't have either of those. So let me see if I can find one either through Scribd or NetGalley or Kindle Unlimited ERB. Okay, I found a really cute one on Scribd. Which, it says it's based on a cartoon, but I've never heard of the cartoon. But then, like, I haven't watched it in a very long time. Uh, it's called Over the Garden Wall, Volume 1, by Pat McHale, Jim Campbell, and Kara McGee. Um, it says... Brand new adventures await Greg and Jason Funderburker as they explore the uncharted depths of the unknown and pick up a few unusual friends along the way. On the other side of the forest, the woodsman daughter, Anna, begins her own journey and quickly learns what it takes to survive on her own, especially once she's confronted by the beast. So, this sounds... I want to read it. Um... And honestly, like, it would have never been on my radar if I didn't have a prompt. So, really happy. I'm going to add this to my TBR and script. And, yeah, let's move on to the next prompt. Next prompt is six. Use a random letter generator, either the author's first name, last name, or the book title must start with that letter. Dang it. All right. We find a random generator. Oh. Let her. And let me share my screen with you. The window yes All right figure this out here's my letter generator G G okay let's find a book that starts with a G that what the letter was G. Either author's first name, last name, or the book title must start with that letter. Okay, so one moment. Let me. Oh, hold on. Let me see. E. No luck. So let's take a look at my shelves. ERB. Okay, back. So what I discovered is I don't have a lot of books whose titles start with a G that doesn't have a prefix of like a, like a, a word like the or a in the front of it. And I'm pretty sure that those don't count. Um, so I went with author last name. I have The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. Um, 
which I think is historical fiction with some paranormal aspects to it. I don't know much more about it other than that. So, that's for that prompt. Kind of. So, prompt number seven is a book with a monster. I'm going to go with this one because there are monsters in this book. Um, number eight, set in an alternate world. Well, the book in space count, can I stretch it out like that? No, who cares? I'm, I'm stretching it out. Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. It's set in space with other planets. So Probably totally not with that prompt, but I'm making it work. Okay, so number nine, a book with sprayed or stenciled edges. Um, I don't have very many of those, but I do have this one the book is called The Edge of Everything by Jeff, I think it's Giles. I've had this book for a long time and I don't remember what it's about, so let me read it to you. One more soul. He needed to bring the lords a final prey and then he'd be free. That's what the back says. I have no idea what it's about still. Maybe hell? I, I don't know. I guess we'll read it and find out. The stack is getting intimidating, my friend. Okay, so number 10, adaptation. A book that has been made into a TV show, movie, game, etc. I don't have any of those here. Give me just one. Okay, back. I'm kind of wishing that I hadn't used this for monsters and I could use it for the adaptation one because there was a movie made of this book. But that's okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to go with the recent adaptation and a book that will be fairly quick for me to read because um, it's a, f a story I'm familiar with, um, but I've never actually read the book, I don't think. At least, I don't think so. Um, and that is Firestarter by Stephen King, which just recently came out with an adaptation, a remake, uh, featuring, uh, that one actor from high school. I can't think of his name. Back something. Anyway, um, I loved the original adaptation, which is very um, outdated uh, with Drew Barrymore. Horrible, horrible graphics um, in that one, but loved, absolutely loved her. So let's read the book, because I don't, I've never read it. Who cracks in this spine? And uh, I'm interested in just how different it is from. Okay, that's the 10 prompts. And then one of the prompts is to read the group book, which is The Nature of Witches by Rachel. I just realized her last name's. Darn it. That's okay, though. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to actually buddy read that one with my friend Johanna. Um, and that should be arriving soon. I it. Um, and yeah, that is, that, that took a while. I thought this is going to be a pain to edit. I apologize. Um, but uh, yeah, those are the books. 
show you. So group read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're heavy. Uh, plus the two I'm borrowing off of Scribd. So 10, 11 books total. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're going to fall. Here are the books that I'm going to be reading for Camp season -a -thon. Wish me luck. Seriously, wish me luck. I'm, I wonder if I can find these on audiobook. But wish me luck. Anyway. Oh, they almost fell. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've read any of the books that are on my TBR, let's chat about them down below in the comment section. And uh, if you enjoy my content and you would like to see more of it, um, and you have not done so already, please click on the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my content. Um, and yeah, take care of you. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.